with more people choosing e-bikes as a new way to get around Toronto's streets. Their growing popularity also means a growing fire risk associated with the batteries that power them. Delivery workers and commuters alike zip along almost as fast as the vehicles they share the road with. Even my camera operator Huey is replacing car trips with a fast, fun and electric option. We've seen that pretty much every year that we sell e-bikes, the demand doubles. These days, it's probably about 20 to 40 percent of our business. Sweet Pete's bike shop on Bloor Street says demand for e-bikes and similar devices has accelerated. Sales manager Brent Robinson explains the e-biking boom. One of the biggest things is just they're more fun. Um, you know, having that little bit of extra boost allows you to go further and faster with less effort. But according to Toronto Fire, the same batteries giving riders more oomph when they pedal are an emerging fire risk in the city. The failure is rapid. It's not minutes, it's seconds. And at that point, the hot gas uh, discharge encompasses the entire room. You will not survive that environment. Officials in New York say such fires have become a deadly crisis in that city. Surveillance video captured an e-scooter exploding into flames that engulfed an entire building with almost no warning. A lack of regulation is an issue. Fire officials here note it's nearly impossible to keep batteries of questionable safety off the market. You can buy almost anything online and it's it, it's very difficult to uh, regulate the the supply and selling of devices. Part of the equation is ensuring the public is made aware. In Toronto, lithium ion batteries have sparked 33 fires so far this year. That's compared to 29 incidents during all of last year. And these fires are not just isolated to battery powered mobility devices. This is the blackened shell of what was once a cordless vacuum. The cause? An aftermarket battery installed by the owner in an effort to extend the battery life. One of the common problems is overcharging and altering the device. You don't want to leave batteries plugged in, charging overnight. So what are the warning signs of a faulty battery? What you want to look out for is a, a, a sudden drop in, in capacity if all of a sudden you're seeing much less range. If the battery is becoming hot in any way, if you notice any temperature change, or really if there's anything happening wrong with the display, you know, that's a really good indication to stop riding. As a rule of thumb, only use the battery design for the device and the charging cord that comes with it. Karen Siolin, City News.